Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of June 20th to June 26th, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Gemini, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. I also wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed in these readings. And also my readings are for sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's take a look at the oracle message that I have for you this week. It says, tolerance. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. Tolerance. This sounds like an advice card, um, Gemini. So... So for some of you, it's being advised to, to be more tolerant this week for some reason. Again, you appreciate other points of views because you sense the love in everyone. All right, we'll see what that's about. Let's continue with your reading. <clears throat> Let's see your energy for the week in regards to love. Spirit, angels, and guys, show me the energy of Gemini in regards to love for this week. Thank you so much. Okay, first card we have here is the Ten of Swords in reverse. Let me show you the card upright. The King, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Cups upright, the Two of Swords upright, the Nine of Swords in reverse, the death card upright. At the bottom of the deck, five of wands. With the three of swords and the two of wands. Okay. Yeah, five of wands, seven, three of swords, two of wands. Give me one second here while I just look at everything. Ten of swords in reverse, nine of wands, eight of wands. Interesting. Okay, so I do feel like um, eight of cups in reverse. You are thinking about someone here um, pretty heavily. Someone who you feel like there's a lack of closure that you have with them or unfinished business that you have with them. It's weird though, because we do have the death card which represents an ending. And then we have the 10 of swords in reverse, which represents um, unfinished business. And then we have the two of swords. Some of you are not sure whether you are willing or whether you're ready to open up to a certain person or to a certain opportunity here that's being presented to you this week with the Ace of Cups. I feel like there's an opportunity here for something. I don't know. What is that Ace of Cups spirit? Just, let's just clarify. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. 
We have five of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so someone from your past there. And we have the ten of wands in reverse. Okay, so someone from your past who things had you had ended things with or there was a separation or a distance between you two. I do feel like they are making their way back to you, um, wanting to wanting to re-experience a new beginning with you. And I do feel like you're in this energy of should I or should I not open up to this person with the two of wands? You're indecisive here. Should I or should I not open up, open myself back up? Is it in my best interest with the four of pentacles? This is you thinking about, is it in my best interest, you know? Um, am I opening up a can of worms? <clears throat> That's an expression. Would I be would I be opening up a can of worms? Or would I be opening up Pandora's box? You're worried. You're worried about making the wrong decision here. Um in regards to this person, I do feel like you've worked a lot You've done a lot of work in regards to building up your personal stability, your personal self-confidence. Your emotional stability also, I'm sensing. You've done a lot of you've done a lot of work in regards to that, so you're being very protective of yourself and of the stability that you've acquired for yourself. Yeah, because I feel like it's a little unexpected also, Gemini. I feel like you weren't really expecting it. You didn't really see it coming. I feel like you had already accepted defeat or you had already accepted a loss or an ending between you and somebody else and here they are back again, you know, bringing things back to life, even you know, like bringing your feelings back to life also, because I feel like some of you had already buried your feelings. Tell me about the Two of Swords, Spirit. The Three of Cups in reverse. Okay, what else? And also the Knight of Wands in reverse. What is this a picture of? Okay, it's like a motorcycle, someone on a motorcycle. Some of you some of you see this person as a player, or that's what that's what your opinion was of this person. Was or is? I don't think you're sure, though, right now, though. Right now, you're not sure about anything. Yeah, I do feel like your immediate reaction, though, is to um, see this person as just, just another player. <laughs> just another player trying to, you know have some kind of casual relationship with you, nothing serious. You don't really trust this person or believe believe in them, in what they're offering with the Ace of Cups. Some of you feel like, well, if it didn't work out before, what would make it work out this time, you know? Some of you have that type of mentality. Okay, anything else? I feel like um, feel like I'm not getting a lot more from here. Maybe let's clarify Four of Pentacles, please. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. Knight, oh, King, King of Cups in reverse, and the Two of Cups upright. Oh, interesting. You have feelings for this person, yeah. 
Yeah, um, that's what I was saying already. I, I do feel like you have feelings for this person, but I feel like you had kind of accepted um, letting go of this person or accepting, you know, that things were just never going to work out between you two. And you kind of laid it, you laid your emotions to rest. But I do feel like this person is kind of resurfacing with an offer here with the Ace of Cups. And it's kind of, like I said, opening up Pandora's box. You know, it's, it's bringing to life your, your feelings and emotions again that you had buried. Okay. I think I'm done. This is you also. King of Swords in reverse. This is Gemini energy. This is you feeling um, conflicted. Let me clarify that one. Tell me about the King of Swords. Seven of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, well, I I already said this already. So um, it's the same thing. Like you, you feel like you worked really hard to to build up your emotional stability or rebuild your emotional stability, physical stability, mental stability, whatever it might be. And you don't feel confident in exposing yourself again and risking, risking this person, you know, bring you back to a place of feeling emotionally distraught. Yeah, emotionally distraught, emotionally um, just out of control. Yeah, I can feel your sensitivity, you know. I feel like you're, because it's almost like you're in this energy of, of, yeah, you're stable, but any little thing will destabilize you, you know. You're kind of, very fragile. I feel like your stability is fragile. It's easily broken here. And that could just be because it's fresh, you know. Whatever you experience or went through is just kind of recent or fresh still. So not enough not enough time has passed by to heal properly, you know. Yeah, with the three of swords healing. All right, let's move on to your person, see what's going on with them. Okay, spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Gemini is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Uh, yeah, I just heard be tolerant with yourself. I just heard that. I was looking at this card of tolerance um, and I heard the message. Um, some of you have to be tolerant with yourself. You're not going to be perfect, um, but that's okay. Okay. Okay, well, that came out quickly. Energy of your person, let's take a look. First card we have is, ooh, King of Swords in reverse. Some of you are dealing with another air sign like yourself, a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. We have the Devil in reverse, could be a Capricorn. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. The Five of Pentacles. Okay, the death card could be a Scorpio and the wheel of fortune, it's called the wheel of destiny in this deck. All right, what's at the bottom of the deck? Let's see. 
we have page of swords in reverse so someone is someone is spying on you Ooh, with the knight of swords and the nine of cups in reverse Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups. Chariot is here also, Chariot in reverse, Five of Wands in reverse, and look at that Ace of Cups here. Ace of Cups with the Queen of Swords. Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. All right, let's look at this. Give me one second. There's a lot of attraction here, Gemini. I feel like there's strong there's a strong energy of attraction almost but almost like a karmic type of attraction connection with this that you have with this person. Yeah, because it is mutual. I, I can see it's mutual. It's almost like this type of energy of you're not my type, but there's something about you that I can't, you know um overcome there's there's a certain magnetism almost like when two people are not compatible with each other or like there's a lot of differences between um between you and them but there's an unexplainable magnetism or attraction you know that doesn't really make sense to them because and, and maybe it doesn't make sense to you too because like you're not each other's type you know just to give an example or you two just don't have the same point of views or you don't have the same style or you don't have the same like general personality If that makes sense, yeah, because I'm feeling like there's a lot of differences between you two. And I also feel like both of you are masculine, which can sometimes be an issue also. Um, I feel like they're coming across here as masculine energy, and I feel like you also were coming across as um, masculine. Yeah, you, you do have, you know, emotions, You're like you are emotional, but I do feel like your main energy came across as masculine energy. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, I do feel like even if you have emotions, you are kind of very composed and reserved. And I feel like this person is the same in that sense. But kind of like for different reasons, and that's why that's where you two don't match. But I feel like they're looking at you like um, they want something to happen between you and them. They want this Ace of Cups with you. And look, it's coming up with the Queen of Swords. It's Ace of Cups and the Queen of Swords together, which is your energy, Gemini. So yeah, they want a new beginning with you. They're interested in you but they're definitely spying on you here, kind of watching you, observing you. They're taking their time. Um, why are they taking their time? Let's clarify that. Tell me about the King of Swords spirit in reverse. They also feel like there's unfinished business between you two, Ten of Wands in reverse. Clarify King of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. And we have the Four of Pentacles. What? You know, I, I feel like this person is also like someone who's very protective of, of their stuff. You know, whatever stuff means.
Yeah, and they don't trust easily. It takes a long time for them to be committed to someone or to be in a real committed relationship with someone. It takes a long time. Um, they're very possessive over 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 their oh, sorry, I can't talk over their life, over themselves, over their freedom, their independence. Protective and possessive over themselves. I do feel like there's a little bit of a seductress type of energy with this person. Kind of feel like this person is trying to seduce you, Gemini. Or like that's their intention. What's the uh, Five of Pentacles about? Temperance, Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They feel very mysterious also. Their energy is like very mysterious. I definitely feel like they're trying to manipulate things with you. There's a there is definitely some underhanded manipulation here. Almost like they're trying to draw you towards them or like seduce you towards them. Hmm. What's the page of swords? Three of Pentacles and the High Priestess in reverse. It's weird because they do want to work things out with you. But it's like, I also feel like this person wants to go slow. They don't want to give you too much. I feel like there's deception also with them. This is kind of a deceiving person. Yeah, so they might, you know, make it make it seem like they're giving you a lot more than they're actually giving you. I feel like this person is treating them treating this connection between you two like if it's a a poker game or a a, a chess a chess game. You know, they're being very strategic Strate strategic and very um, yeah very careful very cautious about what they say and what they do with you because they don't want you to call them out on their bluff if that makes sense in reality I feel like this person doesn't really know what they want with you but they might try to breadcrumb you just to keep you around because they're interested in you. They just don't know if they would have any type of commitment with you, you know? They don't know if, if things could reach that level of commitment. But I feel like in the meantime, they do want to kind of serenade you <laughs> with the Ace of Cups. They want to serenade you. They want to kind of hypnotize you and draw you towards them so so that you don't escape from them so so that you don't go with somebody else you know so that you don't you know abandon them and find another person to be with so it's like they they want to give you just enough to keep you around um but not too much that they would end up committing themselves to you. Though they might give you that impression like they intend to commit, but in reality, they don't know what they want to do. In a sense, I feel like this person just wants to go with the flow. And they're not making you any promises or any guarantees. They just know that right now they want you. <laughs> Ace of Cups and Queen of Swords. That's, 
That's the only thing they know right now. More than that, they don't really know. But like I said, they don't want you to escape, so they might kind of, you know, tell you some lies a little bit to to keep you interested, to keep you sticking around with them. All right, Gemini, I hope that made sense to you. Um, I'm going to continue in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person. I'm going to see what exactly are their real feelings for you, what are their real intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if it resonated. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.